Hi there! In this video we will show you how to use paving textures from Enterprise Catalog. With the feature paving users can do piece by piece tiling with tile or flooring textures. First of all users should upload their own paving textures to Enterprise Catalog in the Merchant Platform. But in this video we will only talk about the usage of this feature. The way to upload will be shown in another video. You may also search how to upload paving textures in the Kuhome YouTube channel for a better understanding. Okay, here we go. Create a project, click the floor you want to edit. Go to the face editor. Also, you can edit the walls if you like. Here is just an example showing the paving feature after we access face editor. Go to the model catalog or enterprise catalog to check the paving textures. In the past, textures only from model category were able to pave, but now you can also select some from Enterprise Catalog, which would be uploaded by the administrator. Let's separate the flooring to two parts with the drawing tool in the upper toolbar, draw a rectangle and customize the width of the face. See, the floor has been in two parts. Each part can be edited individually drag and drop one tile texture to the newly face left click to locate then click on the tile again on the left panel you can customize different parameters of the tile scroll down to resize the tile texture change the width and height to 300 millimeters for example confirm you can also choose the pattern of the tile by dragging the frame on the tile then click the tile and move it to the upper right corner of the face with the move tool in the floating toolbar. Select drag to pave and hold on left mouse button to pave the tile to the entire face. To the upper face you can do something similar as well. Resize the tile and drag to pave. Hold on shift to select the hold face. In the left panel, you can choose the gap and the gap color. Input three millimeters and select some dark gray as the gap color. See, it's clear to view the gap between tiles. Save and go back to the floor planner. This is how the floor looks in our design. See you next time. Thank you.